Hey everybody, this is GoGoG7. I'm making a very unique video for my channel because there has recently been a development in a Nintendo DS emulating technology. They have managed to build a special emulator that allows you to render games at a resolution of 1024 by 768, which is a 4x4 or 16 times higher resolution than what a normal Nintendo DS or emulator can actually display. So in this video I'm going to compare Super Mario 64 DS first running and recorded in its native resolution of 256 by 192. And about midway through the video we're going to fade to black and see what the game looks like running at a 16 times higher resolution. I'm starting with the introduction sequence of the game and then I'll show some random short clips representing the general look of the stages in the game. This type of video was inspired by Rory from the Pixel Press on YouTube, who does a similar type of video series where he compares games running on a Wii console against them running on a Dolphin emulator at a higher resolution with image optimization. What you're seeing now is an almost accurate representation of what an actual Nintendo DS would display if you play Super Mario 64 DS on it. I'm saying almost because this video has been compressed a couple of times on my computer. I rendered these in high quality, but now YouTube recompressed the video to terrible quality. And honestly, it looks three times better playing it on an actual Nintendo DS. There is no official capture card for the Nintendo DS on the market, but you can get the Nintendo DS modded in North America for video output through USB. I can't ship my Nintendo DS there for a video series that might not even succeed. So what I did was actually run a DES Mumie emulator, which runs game at a native resolution of 256 by 192. And I was capturing at the same resolution with a codec that gives an ever so slight quality loss, but nothing significant that affected the final output quality. But then I output the videos while preserving their aspect ratio in uncompressed AVI at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, which is also called 1080p. These were my raw clips. My raw clips were about 30 gigabytes of data. About 16 of those 30 gigabytes of raw video footage was eventually used in Sony Vegas to render this video in the highest possible quality mp4 video file which can be uploaded to YouTube once again at 1080p 30 frames per second. In this video I'm showing only the game's top screen footage because that is where all the action happens. That's just how the game is built. Uh, the bottom screen only consists of sprites except for the startup screen. I just decided to leave that out in the emulator. You will see footage of later in the video is made to clean up 3D models the most. I'm also not playing any background music used in Super Mario 64 DS itself because I'm very cautious with Nintendo and copyright nowadays. So I'm sorry that the background music and sound effects don't transit well into each other. I did this because I wanted to show the core video output of the Nintendo DS without any video editing that will make this an unfair comparison. Now. The image quality of the Nintendo DS is pretty poor. I spoke with some experts on this and they told me that the Nintendo DS has a poor CPU and RAM. That's the reason why Nintendo had to use two screens with a resolution of only 256 by 192. And it's the poor specifications that creates the effect that when the camera zooms out only a little bit from the character, you can't even properly tell the character's jawline apart anymore. It just becomes completely unsharp and pixelated. Even worse is when big objects such as Peach's Castle in the distance, uh, the textures on top of the root of look completely jacked up for example. And the worst thing is playing this game in full screen mode, which I luckily was not. And if you do have a modded Nintendo DS or 3DS for video outputs or reuse B cables, I recommend you not to record while the video is running in full screen on a 1080p computer monitor. And being completely honest, 
even though the game has updated with has been updated with new models, new textures and all that, I think the Nintendo DS version doesn't look much better than the Nintendo 64 version. Um, some viewers may be wondering whether this video is ethically correct, and to that I can say that I have an actual working Nintendo DS, and I own a copy of Super Mario 64 DS. I do not support pirating in any way, and I'm just doing this for review and informative purpose. Any comment made on this segment will be deleted. Alright, here we are at the game running on a Desmiume X432R emulator at a resolution of 1024 by 768 and it is captured in the same resolution and also output in 1080p while preserving the aspect ratio of 4 by 3. So this is the most fair and square comparison against the previous footage. Now, Desmiume X432R is a special build of the emulator that allows you to run games using OpenGL for an anti-aliasing even when the Nintendo DS doesn't support that in the first place. There are more options that I have not messed around with to improve the image quality, but the most important is the fact that it is able to render and display DS games at twice the resolution, three times the resolution and four times their original resolution resulting in a massive improvement of the visuals. By the way, OpenGL in this emulator is broken. If your computer doesn't have uh, good support for it, I heard that people, their emulators, crash instantly trying to run it in OpenGL. I had the same problem, so I'm using something called the Soft Restizer or something. You can see the game looks a lot better, the models are displayed extremely sharp, textures are far away, and don't look completely jacked up. In the introduction scene, when the camera zooms away from Mario, he doesn't look pixelated anymore. Just admit it guys, he looked horrible in the previous footage, uh, compared to what is on screen now. It honestly amazes me that this is what is actually stored into the cartridges of this game. What we're seeing on an actual Nintendo DS is a really poor representation, not showcasing the Nintendo DS graphics team its full potential. One thing that needs to be said is that this emulator is not optimized yet. While I was playing and recording, I could only get the game running at about half its speed. It sometimes fluctuated a bit because when there are a lot of big objects on screen, the game starts running even slower. That's a problem from the original Nintendo 64 version, so I sped up the footage to about double the speed. I know there's a YouTube video maker out there with an amazing gaming computer with an i7 CPU and 32GB of RAM, and he could get DS games on this emulator to run at a steady 60 or 30 frames per second at any resolution but only at 56 or 28 frames per second while also recording at the same time. That goes to prove how difficult software like this is to build and to run. Speaking of YouTube video makers with awesome videos, I hope that Rory from the Pixel Press himself sees this video because I hereby challenge him to run this emulator with anti-aliasing at a resolution of 1024 by 768 and uh, let's see if he can get the emulator to run at full speed. And maybe we can collaborate on something. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe I was a little bit too rough on the Nintendo DS. You see, Nintendo gives their consoles the specifications they need to provide you with a rich and innovative experience. With the Nintendo DS having a touchscreen, the Wii having motion controls, and the Wii U having the gamepad. And remember that the Nintendo DS was released in 2004. That's 10 years ago, and in 10 years, technology changes a lot. In 1994, they could not even imagine a device that size with two screens and that many features, including a touchscreen. Nintendo is pretty much the best at optimizing the performance of their consoles. They are about challenging themselves and other developers to create games which you would think are not able to run on their consoles. Don't believe me? Xenoblade Chronicles for the Nintendo Wii proves it. But most importantly is that they value gameplay and story first and foremost. 
While their consoles don't have amazing output qualities, Nintendo does develop high quality models and the fact that those games run at uh, on those consoles simply amazes me once again. The Nintendo DS game cartridges could only hold 512 megabytes from the top of my head and that is your average music library or two anime episodes. And if you're still not amazed, and you want to know what Wii games running on a dolphin look like, uh, please head over to the Pixel Press on YouTube when this video is over, there will be a link in the descriptions. I think that's enough technical stuff for one day for me. Thank you all very much for watching, there are a couple of Nintendo DS games that get an amazing improvement from being run at a higher resolution. But Super Mario 64 was the first one I could think of having a great improvement from this new technology, which is why I chose to do this game first. I would like to cover a few other games that get a massive improvement from this new emulator. But if you have any suggestions for a game for me to cover, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll consider doing them in the near future. Be sure to give a like if you enjoyed this because while this was fun to make, it took quite some effort. There's a couple of other videos I'm currently working on, which I will continue starting uh, this week. I will see you guys again when those are uploaded. Princess Toadstool. Peach. Peach. Let's go! Let's go! Oh yeah! Ha! Yo! 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 Yo